Hello, everyone. My name is Joshua Gilliard. Some of you know me as Queen of the Ratchet, and I have a confession to make. Today, I told one of my white friends that I don't care about her white pain. Felt like it needed to be addressed that at this point during Black History Month, I don't care about your white pain. And I felt liberated. And then we had more conversation and more understanding of why I, at that moment, didn't care about her white pain. Now, was it my ego speaking? I don't fucking know. What I do know is through the therapy, through the yoga, through trying to get spiritual advice from everybody, I kind of lost my goddamn way through all the community violations and all that and trying to figure out how to be liked because, I mean, in, on social media, that's all this is, is being liked. I forgot to really have my voice speak. So in that moment, in that present moment, I told my friend, I don't care about your white pain. And I felt like it was authentically me just being my goddamn self. And she kept expressing how she felt. And in that moment, I was like... This don't really matter at all. But what I will say is this. I stand true. White people, I have compassion for you. We're not always going to agree. And that's okay. I'm allowed as a human. And I want you to hear me. Internet, world, wide web, whatever you are, AI. Whatever's trying to suppress people from being who they are. I'm allowed to say and to speak in a moment, in a present moment where I'm feeling upset. I don't care about your white pain. And then I can go and reflect. Well, why did I the video cut out? And I want to go here. Well, why did I say that? Why did I feel like I needed to get triggered by what my white friend said because my preconception might be totally off she might not be racist or trying to be racist or saying something that is off because she has her world that she lives in and in that moment in that conversation as I kept going back to it and having this conversation I saw myself in this person I don't know if that bitch saw herself in me <laughs> And I don't care if she watches this. We are so afraid to be ourselves. We're we are so afraid to do discomfort. And it was a very uncomfortable conversation. But I'm glad I had it. And I'm going to continue to have them. Not for her. Not for any white person. For myself. Okay.